Greetings, dear people. We are pleased to welcome you back to our channel, where we delve deeply into the most recent events that have occurred in the realm of politics and law. This day, we are going to discuss the most recent development in the ongoing legal drama that has been involving former President Donald Trump. Over the course of the past week, we have been paying careful attention to the tense developments that have been surrounding the deadline that Trump has set for himself to pay a stunning $464 million. However, just as many of us had feared, just when it appeared like Trump's luck had run out, a twist that occurred at the very last minute preserved the day once more. A five-judge panel on the appellate court stepped in at the 11th hour granted Trump an extension of 10 days and dramatically decreasing the bond amount to $175 million. This move was a move that few people were surprised by. The limits imposed by Judge Arthur Geron were effectively placed on hold as a result of this judgment, which made it possible for President Trump and his family to carry on with their commercial endeavors in New York for the time being. It is only natural that Trump did not waste any time in announcing his victory, gloating about it on social media and rousing his supporters with the mails declaring his victory over the established legal system. It is essential, however, to put the record straight. Contrary to what the former president indicates, Judge Jaron did not disobey the directions of the appeal court, despite the fact that Trump has made these accusations. Nevertheless, while Trump is rejoicing over his short respite, it is essential to keep in mind that this judgment does not eliminate the enormous debt that he owes to the state. The only benefit is that it buys him some time to navigate the complicated appellate procedure, which might take several months to complete. The fact of the matter is that this most recent incident sheds light on a concerning trend of privilege and preferential treatment that exists inside our American legal system. This serves as a brutal reminder that when it comes to wealthy and important persons like Trump, the laws frequently appear to be bending in their favor. Where do we stand as a result of this? Unfortunately, for the time being, we are forced to contend with the aggravating awareness that justice does not always appear to be blind. On the other hand, if we keep bringing attention to these wrongdoings, we may work toward the establishment of a legal system that truly serves everyone in an equal manner. Stay in with us as we continue to keep an eye on this ongoing legal drama, because with Trump, you never know what unexpected turns and twists are going to come next. Until we meet again, remember to always question the status quo, keep informed, and remain watchful against any potential threats. We appreciate you watching.